Not many people out cycling at this time. I thought you were going to stay out for the eclipse, Steve. <laughs> and I bet you didn't know there was one. Yeah. That would have been two point one. <laughs> Nor have I, but I have a quite good with smog. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so you do it the same way every time. On the 27th of September, and he's just come back in, he's stuck his stuff in the laundry, and I'm going to have a quick chat with him, just a few minutes, and then we're going to let him go. Getting something to eat, Steve. Yeah, Neovite. Good man. He's just gonna have some Neovite, which is a colostrum supplement he uses. He, um, it, it keeps his energy levels high. In fact, Steve, do you wanna say a little bit about the Neovite? Um, just about why you use it, what it is? Uh, Chris Hopkinson got me onto that. It's supposed to help you re recover and uh, sort of stop you getting ill and all that sort of thing. Oh good, so it's, it, it boosts your immunity. I think it's done other stuff as well, I'll be honest. Yeah. So, know. We'll look into it, I Neovite. Think, I think it might help me sleep better. Oh, you think it helps you sleep better as well? I, I think it might do. I don't, I don't know, but I think it might do. Yeah. But it definitely says it gives you digestive efficiency. Yeah, it's good for the stomach and that, which is... Yeah, which always helps. You, you, you got to look after your stomach. Yeah. I do have a bit of stomach trouble in the week. Oh, well, you used to, you were you having some tummy trouble? Yeah. Oh, sorry it's about only, that. It's only, you know, it's a little thing, but I'm yeah. a little bit weak for about half a day. Oh, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, I got over it, I just took it easy and yeah. got over it and got on with it. Good man. Now, Steve, in terms of, I haven't seen you for two weeks. Um, what's, what's the highest mileage you've done in that two weeks? <clears throat> uh, I, mean, I did 234 or something. 2.34, not bad, not well, bad. I did, I did a two days running. Two oh, well days, done, two well done. Four. And how did you feel? I was all right. I yeah. think it must have tired me out, I was like, <laughs> I've gone down a bit. Yeah. yeah. What's your lowest you've done this well, week, this two weeks? I did 190 the other week. Okay. It was after, yeah, it was after I spoke, yeah, I did 190. <laughs> so yeah. maybe you shouldn't speak to me too often. <laughs> Okay, no, but okay, yeah, you did 190. Yeah, that was a windy, don't it? It's yeah. windy. So you just wanted it's to a, keep it. It's a late start because yeah. I was talking to you and yeah. didn't get a bed till late. Then, yeah. then it was a windy day as well. Yeah, wasn't, that wasn't very good. It is looking neater in the kitchen apart from a few dishes. So, um, well done. Well done to Leslie. Are you making yourself a cuppa as well? Or yeah. Yeah. Good man. What were the blender? Then uh well-stocked fridge? Well not really. <laughs> uh, mattress for me and preferably one for them. Yeah. You're well stocked on cereal bars. <laughs> You're well stocked on cereal bars and pasta. Oh, actually, I'll, um, um, essential cereal. She's got me like a spaghetti. Well, a good job's been done in here, Steve, because everything in here is looking spick and span. Glad to say.
It's looking good. It's looking good. That's it. Got my essentials as well. Yeah. Good stuff, that is. Yep. We're getting some good um some good value. <coughs> While you're at the microwave, Steve, just a few quick ones. Um, in terms of these last two weeks, have, have there been any um, any um, hiccups, anything gone wrong, or has, has it been pretty straightforward for you? Just a bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a stomach pain and that's it. Pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the pain in the ass rages on, I guess. Yeah, I've got a lump down there. Is it getting smaller, bigger, staying the same? Yeah, it gets smaller and bigger. That's um, but is is it? What do you do to um, stay comfortable at the moment? Uh, are you just trying to it's avoid it? You just sit on it. It's all right on the bike. Yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. It's just when you're off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, 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 do you actually do me a favour? Yeah. I think you know what? It's just hardening up from sitting on on one spot for so long. I, I think that might be what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is really. Yeah. And those of us who don't use saddles don't have these problems, but. Tell me, in terms of saddles getting really comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, no, you would be, you'd be comfortable. No, I'm sort of sitting on it because I have a cool widget getting really comfy now. <laughs> yeah, have you, have you, I mean, you, you're, you're expecting to go through this whole challenge with the same three saddles, correct? Mm. Yeah, they should last a, a year um, of oh, constant one, one use. Of them would do it. Yeah. I mean, one, one of them bikes is up to it. Yeah, but could go through know, the whole thing. I mean, I've only got three, you know, things they replace you on. Know, yeah. Can they, Break blocks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get someone else to do it. Oh, I'm riding the other one, you see. Yeah. And do, do you have any tips, Steve? You know, I, I hear lots of guys complaining about how they struggle with getting used to the saddle for long distance. Do you have any tips for how you how you handle it? Is there anything special you do or is it just about getting the right saddle? Yeah, there's that and there's just getting used to it. Yeah. I mean, one of them on the mountain bike first time I rode it about two miles, it was horrible. Yeah. Then I ended up doing PVP on it. Oh, so you, you you broke it in, so to speak. Yeah, you just get used to it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't prefer a Brooks on. Yeah, good. I mean, I'd rather ride a Brooks on one of the mountain bikes. Yeah, yeah. Brooks is um is very popular for for long distance, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so for tonight, I mean, it's uh it's getting to midnight. Um, what time do you think you're gonna start off tomorrow morning? I'm gonna get up. Yeah. Yeah. Probably about half eight, nine o'clock. Yeah, I've noticed you've been getting out before nine every day, almost. Yeah, I was a bit late the other day. Yeah, but generally before nine. Well yeah. done, well done. No, I like it. Um, you know, Steve, we're just catching up, just saying hello to everybody and um, letting them know you're still here. But um, I don't think we're gonna. We, we, we don't need to cross. Uh, we don't need to cross-examine you too much. So um, I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> and um, you know, I have no idea when the eclipse is. I don't think you're gonna see it. But, um, you know, at least you know it's happening. <laughs> <laughs>